Now, Yachty, I would say Yachty's one of the most hated in the rap game right now, as far as artists. I mean, he gets so much flack because he's different. I mean, he's like with a mumble rapper. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole Joe Button, you know, shit, where, you know, just people like to pick on Yachty. Um, but what's your take on that? Because you, you really know Yachty. You on know how much work on, you put in. On people, like, picking on Yachty? Or like Not, like, picking on him as, as far as, like, bullying him, but, like, you know, on the net. Like, as far as rappers, he's one of the most made fun of meme, rap, meme rappers. You know, with, like, Famous Dex and Uzi. The new wave rappers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the most picked on rappers. Like, how do you feel about the whole mumble rap? How I feel like, like he was, he's one of the most picked on because Yachty was always someone who, like, talked with his emotions. Especially, like, when it came to, like, the Biggie and Tupac thing. He said, like, if he, like, felt some way about something, he would, he would say it. Yeah. And, like, like, and, and because, like, I feel, I feel like, like, personally, I feel like, which I feel like should be fact, he started, like, the whole, like, I'm going to, like, well, no, he didn't start it. Okay, maybe he start he okay, he started he might have started the whole weird hair wave. Mm. Like he might have started that. To me he did. Cause it wasn't niggas running around with weird hair when I went. He yeah, was the I'm only I'm trying to think if I could argue with you on that. Like I wish I wish a nigga would. Like I wish a nigga could. Like ah oh, fuck. I wanna say mm. maybe Uzi. But I remember for a long time knowing who Uzi, like at one point in time, I thought Lil Uzi and Lil Uzi Vert were two different people. Mm. Did not know them the same. I, I, I think, yeah, I think Yachty might, might have started like, it for the dark I, endings. Yeah, sure. I, I think he started it for like, like he was like, he's the one that confirmed was like, okay, how I'm going to get on is I'm going to dye my hair a bunch of fucking weird colors. And that's how I'm gonna make but, it. But Chris Brown dyed his hair all blonde. I mean, I mean, well, well Chris Wiz Brown, Khalifa, Wiz Khalifa had the patch in his head though. Oh, no, no, that's true. But niggas was still like, niggas was like, still was like, I'm not gonna jump off the deep end. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna put my toe in the water. Facts. Yachty jumped off the deep end when it came to that shit. Facts. So, so like, it was like, it was like Wiz Khalifa did have the patch. Chris Brown, Chris, for some reason, like. As Chris much, Brown did go all Chris, blonde. Chris, Chris, Chris Brown did go all blonde, but no, like nobody was like, like I remember niggas used to make fun of Yachty for the beads and the red hair facts. so fucking much, bro. Yeah. Like Chris Brown did not get made fun of for the blonde. Nah, facts, you are. Right. And he persevered through that shit because he knew, like he knew that was gonna take him somewhere. So, I, I want to say he started that. Like he started the. I'm, I feel like the way I look is what's going to take me somewhere. I feel mm -hmm. like he started that. Right. I mean, and me and my, me and my niggas, we talk about it a lot. I feel like um, Yachty has the biggest, he's more of a star. Like, I mean, with the Target and the Sprite, yeah. um, the commercial shit that he's in. I feel like even musically, if he was to fall off, he'll still be a star because, like you said, his image. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I agree. So, um, how do you feel about, you know, the mumble rap? The, Scene? Just the way the people... Now? It's crazy, bro. I'm not even gonna count to you. Like, I thought, like, I never try and predict things because I, because niggas, niggas can't predict nothing, bro. But I never thought it would be like how it is right now. Like, everything's such like, it's such a, a, a big fucking, I don't know. It's so much, but it's a lot of bullshit out there. It's a lot of bullshit out there, bro. A lot. It's a lot of bullshit. It, like, it, Niggas nowadays don't like, here's here's what I personally don't like. Niggas nowadays don't even care about the music. They care more about like how they look than what the music, and which labels do too mm -hmm. nowadays. Like nigga, if you want a record deal, bro, you don't even need to have five music. Well, let me ask you this because this is what I ask most artists and I want to hear, I, I, I think I, I want to I value your opinion on this. Out of up and coming artists, uh -huh. what do you think is more important? I want you to think about this. The music, the money, when I said the money as far as the budget for artists or clout. The music, which, the which three, the money, music, or the clout? Which more? Which one is most important right now for artists? Okay, so here, uh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to be very like jumpy about this. When you say most important for the artist, do you mean like personally for the artist or for a label going to going after an artist? If an artist is trying to get on. If an artist is trying to get on, what should they focus on is what you're saying. Yeah. Like music, money, or clout? Music, money, clout. 
personally, I would say money. If you, if you're going to focus on something, I would say I would say focus on music. Fuck, it's so hard to say, cause like I know niggas with like a million plus followers who don't know how they gonna eat the next day. Like like yeah, that's, that's I know real. I know <laughs> niggas with a million real. plus followers who don't know how they gonna eat the next the next day. I know niggas with millions of dollars who don't know how to make music. Yeah. I know niggas who know how to make music but don't got either of the other two. Yeah. So like it's it's hard to say like it has to be like a perfect combination right. in a way. But then again, you don't need to have the perfect combination. Like some people like like fucking uh, um, Black. His music is amazing. His amazing. his clout. He don't give a fuck about that clout. He doesn't give a fuck about the looks. He doesn't give a fuck about none of that other shit. But he has his own like sphere bubble. That's the one other thing a lot of people don't realize. Like a lot of these artists, what they're doing, and the reason like the reason like I hate when like people like Joey like Joey Badass says like. The only like the way to save hip hop is for you to categorize like all the little different genres that's coming out. This it's like, bro, it that don't matter. What the fuck that gonna do? Like, what is that gonna do? Thanks. What is that gonna do? You categorize and like, so so they gonna make a, a a fucking mumble rap hip hop awards? Like, what the fuck? Like, that's not gonna do nothing. Or the best mumble rapper of twenty. Like, that's not gonna do. Right. Hip hop is hip hop. That's how the fuck it is at the end of the day to me. But, like. A lot of people don't realize, like the like, it's bubbles. Every rapper, like, creates a bubble, and like the bubbles overlap from all the rappers. And you decide how far you want to take that bubble away from other people. Mm. But like, it's like, bro, people don't even realize, like, the the people who you think could have fell off, like the new boys. I would have never thought that the new boys is prospering right now. Somewhere out in SoCal, them niggas is doing amazing. Facts. Niggas don't know that, cause they, it's the bubble that you in. Right, nah, it's, it's right. the bubbles. Like, but Instagram is so crazy nowadays. A lot of artists they focus strictly on Instagram clout. Oh, okay. So here's the thing about Instagram. Instagram is good and it's bad at the same time. Here's what I'm gonna, cause niggas who's going, to, okay, there's niggas who's going out and getting social media deals, right? They're getting social media deals. But because of the social media deals they're in, they're not getting the money that they are worth. Explain. Like, like. You don't gotta blast nobody. Luke. I'm not. I'm not blasting nobody. Like, I'm not even trying to blast nobody. Like, no, I'm just saying you don't gotta mention somebody's name. Oh no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not mentioning somebody's name. But I'm trying to say, like, for example, like, when you go and get a social media, like. Like some people be like, like I remember when DJ Academics put like, just go get a social media deal and you on, like whatever, yada 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 yada. But like, that that works for you and against you at the same time, cause the record label is not coming for you for music no more. Mm. So they not go, they're not paying you for your music. They're paying you for who you, they're they're paying you for what you're portraying. They're paying you for what you're portraying to the public. Right. So they not gonna give you as much money. When you're when you're selling number one records, and doing shit like that, they're not gonna give you the money you deserve, or the money you should be getting as another mm -hmm. artist who actually went and like did it like the I'm not w without social media deals. Do you see people on Instagram that you know personally do things they normally wouldn't do to get clout? Oh no, it's niggas that what left and right, right? It's niggas that do that left and right. It's it's a new nigga every day doing shit like like. What do you think? Like, what you, I mean, do you understand what, what it or is it kind of like, nigga, you corny for that? I, I can't say, here's why I can't say it's corny. Because I watch it. I watch the shit. Niggas do it because, niggas do it because it's like, niggas do the, do the, niggas do what other niggas don't want to do to get where they want to. And it's a hustle at the end of the day. You can't knock right. their hustle. I mean, I can say, I can sit there and be like, bro, that's fucked up. You should have never, like, went and did that for, like, I'm watching it still. Right. If I watch it multiple times, that's just giving that nigga more of whatever he... So, like, I can't... You can't knock a nigga's hustle. As much as, like, it's fucked up, as much as what, whatever, you're still watching.